so I am just writing the event handler for button 1 the goal here is to experiment with the animate functionality in jQuery so when I click on button 1 I want to animate the box okay animate the box so if you look at the syntax the first parameter that I have is going to be a bunch of CSS I can modify then I can say how many seconds it has to animate that for. okay so let us see what are the CSS parameters so the, when we use it inside animate you cannot say border um, width okay like how we would say it in CSS you have to say border width like that okay so let us say that we want to set the width uh, the width can be a hundred pixel comma height can be hundred pixel because I said it's a square okay with this height height is that maybe we can change the opacity to um, 75 percent right so you put it as 0 0.75 uh, maybe we can give it a border with 5 pixel maybe we can say font size as 1.5 em or you can say 20 pixels whatever you want to say okay so we can give the color uh, background color or text color or anything like that we cannot manipulate that okay so that that's the reason why I have a box already here and then I set the box as color already here see background color and border uh, I gave a border already for it so maybe we don't need this so if you look at my box before we do anything this is a box that's taking the entire width of the screen and I want to make this into a box that is a hundred by hundred pixel that's the goal okay let's see how that works we are not going to worry about the top portion now we are going to click here see how it did that so it is animating it it is changing the property of the length and width slowly so that it takes up the five seconds okay if I don't give any seconds let's see how it does So that was super fast right it just came really fast probably less than a second so when you use like um, either fast or slow or um, a certain number of milliseconds that can help to provide a much uh, interesting animation for your users so that is that so uh, what else can we animate <laughs> okay so now that we have done that so we did that animate let's say like let's see if there is ways to do multiple animations what if we do what if we want to do like three different animations one after another that should be okay too so let's say this would be 500 pixel And this should be again 100 pixel it go back it goes back okay so this is uh, one after the other we can do it and then the effect will be pronounced and it will be very interesting to see what's going on let's see how this works this is called as queuing where um, animation on a single object 
multiple animations are done one after the other. So here I am. So first animation happens. Second animation happens. Third animation happens. Okay. So this is called queuing. So I can say so it's similar to how we have a queue for a printer or anything like that nothing fancy i think where this comes in handy is basically in an animate you can flex like you know go back and forth on a width of a box right you can only from a starting point you can set it to a certain width or a height but if, because we wanted to like move it back and forth we did three three different animations you can even like modify the timing of this one to really fast or something like that and then you know you can get effects that you normally cannot get with just a single animate That's super fast and again it slows down. And there are a, like a number of ways this can be used for a game, right? 